I will use Gaussian to run optimization calculations for sulfur tetrafluoride SF4. Double click Gauss view, click this, close. Uh, click this carbon 6 and then find sulfur. And I'm going to do two structures. One is tetrahedral and the other one is seesaw. So tetrahedral first. Uh, this sulfur is bonded to four hydrogen atoms. Find fluorine. Replace each hydrogen with fluorine. Now you have a tetrahedral, sulfur tetrafluoride. And then click Calculate, Set Up. Change the job type to Optimization. The method is semi-empirical, PM6. Submit, save. The calculation is running. There are two output files, uh, .chk file and .log file. We're okay, uh, we're open this chk file. Uh, remember, the optimization calculation will never break the symmetry of the initial structure. So, since we started with a tetrahedral structure, the final optimized structure is also tetrahedral. And then look at the results. Summary. Here's the energy. Negative 0 0.2379 atomic unit. One atomic unit of energy equals 2,625.5 kilojoule per mole. The dipole moment is 0 dB. That means this is a nonpolar structure. Click OK. To measure the bond distance, you simply just click two atoms. Sulfur, fluorine, the bond distance is 1.617 angstrom. To get a bond distance, I'm sorry, to get a bond angle, click three atoms, one to three. The bond angle is 109.47 degrees. It's a perfect tetrahedral. To get a dihedral angle between two planes, again, you need to click three atoms first. That defines the first plane. And then atoms two, three, and four will define a second plane. The angle between this 1, 2, 3 plan and this 2, 3, 4 plan is 120 degrees. Now we are optimize a different structure of sulfur tetrafluoride. Find sulfur first and then File, New, Create Molecular Group. Uh, unfortunately, there is no seesaw structure, but I can choose this one. This is trigonal bipyramidal. And then what I will do is I will remove one of the uh, three hydrogen atoms on this plant. So click this red cross and remove one of the hydrogen atom. And now it's a seesaw structure. I still need to replace every hydrogen with fluorine. Okay. Calculate, set up, optimization, semi-empirical, submit. Seesaw. Now you have a seesaw structure here. Uh, this is a little bit bent. Uh, look at the results summary. And the energy is still negative, but now it's more negative. It's negative 0 0.3041 atomic unit. 
Again, one atomic, atomic unit equals 2625.5 kilojoule per mole. The dipole moment is now non zero, it's 2.584 dB. That means this structure is a polar structure.